am Melissa from Warehouse IQ, and we are here at Promat 2011 with Greg from Wavelength. Hi, Greg. Hi, Melissa. How are you? I'm great. And can you show us a little bit what you have here at your booth today? Sure. So what we're going to demonstrate today is Wavelink's Telnet client, which is software that runs on a variety of different mobile devices. I happen to be showing one mobile device here, but this is not a Wavelink product. This is actually a Motorola device. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you how we voice enabled a longstanding Telnet technology um, to make things more efficient and keep warehouse workers moving faster. Can you give us a demo of that for so everybody can see how it works? Absolutely. What we're going to do is we're going to do a little before and after. So first thing I'm going to show you is how Telnet typically worked, and then we're going to add voice and show how it can work. Okay. Great. Right. Let's start that. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, and if you want, you can actually look up on the screen here, is I'm going to log into my system using a traditional green screen Telnet client. And so now it's asking me to just enter in my credentials. In this case, it's just the enter key. And now I've got to, basically, I've got to stop and look and see what's going on here, maybe adjust it to bad lighting or whatever. And I see it wants me to go to bin three and it wants me to pick the studio client from there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scan bin three. And now I've got to look at the screen again, and figure out what to do next. And it looks like it wants me to pick 18. So um, let's say we actually have 18. Let me go ahead and type that in and press enter. And it accepted that. And now it's looking for the next bin location. So I'll go ahead and scan my next bin. And now it's asking for 17, but maybe we've only got 15. So I'll type in 15. And it comes back and it says, is that correct? Yes or no, you know, on the screen. So I got to, let's see, figure out where the Y key is on this terminal. And you might be able to see that there's very few keys. It's kind of like looking at your cell phone. You can't really find the right keys. So let's go ahead and um, actually, let's just go ahead and jump out of here and show how it should work. Okay, so that was the old way. Now you're going to show us, you know, now how... I'm going to show you how the whole thing's voice enabled. I can basically lose the scanner. I'm not going to use that anymore. I'm just going to converse with my device. I've got a headset on. I can hear what the system's telling me to do, and I'm going to tell it what the, what, what the inputs are with my voice. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter just to get to that point. Okay. So basically what it just told me is it's prompting me to start the voice conversation. It said, say the word begin to start. So begin. So now the next thing it did is it told me bin two, 19, bin four, 15. That is amazing. It's very easy. Very fast, very easy. Now, I'm looking at the screen because I'm talking to you about it, but theoretically, this could be mounted on my belt. The whole thing's going on with, with the headset, and I don't need to look at it. I can do it with behind my back. And are there any other applications that, it can, that you can use for this? Any application. Any Telnet-based application, we can introduce voice, both text-to-speech and speech-to-text, so we can have the device guiding us with what to do so we don't have to look at the device. And we can surgically insert voice input only on the prompts we want to. If we want to continue to use the scanner, we can still continue to do that. If we want to add voice to just certain inputs, we can do that. Or we can make, like our demonstration today, we can make the whole thing voice input. It's great for safety because I don't have to look at the device. So if I'm in a crowded warehouse with traffic all over the place, I'm, I'm not looking down. I'm looking at what I'm doing. Efficiency, I don't have to stop and look at the screen every time I figure out what, what to do next. It makes a lot of sense to me. And what is the cost of this? The cost is approximately $500 per client. Great. And it's available now? It's available now. Where can we go to get more information about, about the Speakeasy? Come visit us at www.wavelink.com. Great. Thank you so much for your interview today. And I'm Melissa from Warehouse IQ. We will see you next time.